Hi everyone, it's Robert Cedar from survivalcentral.ca and prepperextreme.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you a cool product that's out to clean and purify your water. It is called Chloroflock. Now this stuff's kind of cool. What it'll do is, if you look at the picture there, what it'll do is it will, you put the little packet in and you stir it up and you let it sit. And what it will do is it'll separate the sediment from the water and clean your water at the same time. Now it's a chlorine based uh, chemical treatment and it's pretty neat so I'm going to show you how it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to add one little packet to one liter of untreated water. Shake it for one minute. Shake, shake, shake. And then what we're going to do is let it stand for three minutes. But if you notice uh, the flocking agent's working right away. It is uh, attaching itself to all the sediment and all any kind of biological material in the uh, water and it's uh, having it settle and separating it from the water itself. Next we're going to stir it for 30 seconds and this is really cool. Uh, it really illustrates how good this stuff works right here. It just separates it right out of the water. Uh, the water is being cleaned. Now we're going to let it stand for about seven minutes and in this whole time uh, Chlorine is also purifying the water or cleaning the water, killing uh, any kind of uh, pathogens or uh, bacteria. This will kill uh, Glardia, Lambia, Cis, uh, bacteria, viruses, and other harmful microorganisms, um, which will be removed with the sediment. So, now in order to remove that, what we have to do is filter it through either a cloth, or in this case, I've filtered it through uh, a coffee filter. So, but you can see how the, the, the sediment's uh, sticking to the flocking agent at the bottom, and we're simply just uh, pouring it out. I even uh, had, um, what is it, I think it was uh, some sort of larvae in there that you're going to see here in a second. Uh, that quickly, there it was uh, in with the uh, sediment at the bottom, so it removed everything. And uh, there you have it, there's your clean water. Okay everybody, that took about 20-25 minutes to filter the water to have it uh, coagulate or congeal the, uh, all the impurities that were in the water. Here's the water the way it was before. Uh, now as we saw in the video, it separated the particulate or any of the uh, sediment that was left in the water and it congealed it uh, into like a gelatin and uh, put it all down to the bottom. Then we just have to filter it out with some, uh, with either a coffee filter or a piece of cloth. Uh, I just use coffee filters. So, and here is what we have left over. This is the exact water that I filtered out here. We're going to give it a try to see what it tastes like because we know that some of the chemical uh, treatments can taste a little bit uh, harsh uh, chemically, but uh, we're going to give it an, uh, an odor smell. Still a little bit musty from the uh, the pond, but we're going to we're going to give it a give it a shot, give it a try. You can taste the chlorine in it. It's not too bad. It's, uh, it's just uh, perfect. Now that one little pouch will do one liter of water uh, like I did here. It takes about 20 minutes uh, to do, but there you go. Uh, I'm going to have another drink here. That's the exact water out of that pond. and um, You can taste a little bit of the, uh, the chlorine, but it's, it's still good to drink. It's still palatable. So this is Robert Suter from survivalcentral.ca and prepperextreme.com. Till next time, be prepared, stay safe, and survive. Thank you for watching.